party people. This is your girl, Ra. Happy May. I am back in Command Central, and spring is in full effect, and I hope you are as well. So last month, we invited you to show up and bring your whole self to the party. And if you received the guidance and accepted the invitation to move into greater partnership with the universe, then I can only imagine that awesome things begin to unfold for you as a result. This month, I want to move us deeper into experiencing the bounty. So your tip for the month of May is appreciate. Appreciate. <laughs> My beloved friend and mentor, Lynn Twist, author of The Soul of Money and founder of The Soul of Money Institute, has a saying that what we appreciate, appreciates. I remember the first time I heard her say this because in that moment, I began to see appreciation as more than just a sentiment I expressed at the end of a transaction. I began to see it as an expression of love and an act of faith. And what I discovered as I took the concept deeper is that there is an inherent dynamic of reciprocity embedded in the full experience of appreciation. And when we engage in the full practice, what shows up is a greater sense of wealth and prosperity, deeper peace and serenity, infinite love, and unwavering faith. Appreciation in its fullness has three divine aspects. Aspect number one, recognition and understanding. Aspect number two, gratitude and acknowledgement. And aspect number three, dedication to evolution and growth. All right, so let's get down to it. Divine aspect number one, recognition and understanding. Do you know what it takes for you to show up as your whole self, to bring your best and make it rain in honor of what it is you desire? Do you give yourself what you need in order to deliver on your highest talents, gifts, and abilities? Do you know what it takes for others to show up for you in partnership, collaboration, or support? When you recognize and understand what it requires to really show up, you have the opportunity to take better care, to operate in ways that demonstrate just how much you value your own contribution and the contribution of others. For example, if eating well is important for you to be able to bring your best, you make the time and space to eat well. Or if someone goes the extra mile for you, you don't just say thank you, you take the time to acknowledge and speak to the additional effort involved. When we take better care of ourselves and each other, there is genuine honor and value in the exchange. We experience the power of contribution through the divine practice of recognition and understanding. Divine aspect number two, gratitude and acknowledgement. When we see the value of our contribution and the contribution of others, we also have an opportunity to give and receive from a place of gratitude. Gratitude in the giving means that we acknowledge and take responsibility for all that we've been given to share, our talents, gifts, abilities, resources, and out of that acknowledgement, we rise to make our highest appropriate contribution. Gratitude in the receiving means that we acknowledge and take responsibility for all the ways we benefit 
from the talents, abilities, gifts, and resources of others. And out of that acknowledgement, we give thanks and praise wherever thanks and praise are due, which is everywhere, because we are always receiving, be it lesson or blessing. Now, sometimes we overgive because we think that's what we need to do in order to be liked. And sometimes we under-receive because we don't recognize our value or because we are afraid of appearing to be needy. Anytime you experience a sense of lack or resentment, there is an imbalance in this equation. Because we can only authentically give and receive when we are present to the wealth in every moment. We experience the power of true generosity through the authentic practice of gratitude and acknowledgement. And finally, divine aspect number three, dedication to evolution and growth. When we are acknowledged for our contribution and when we acknowledge the contribution of others, we are inspired to invest. And when we invest in ourselves and each other, we expand. We see possibilities for ourselves that we didn't see before. We experience a new level of confidence in our talents, gifts, and abilities. And this expansion enables us to transform in ways that strengthen and refine what we have to offer. And that increases our capacity to be, do, and have more. Our dedication, demonstrated by the investment of time, energy, focus, money, water, sunlight, creativity, etc., produces a sense of wealth and prosperity in our being, and more begets more. Think about the last time you invested in yourself. How did you feel when you took that yoga class or joined that writer's group or reorganized your workspace? Now, think about the last time you invested in someone else. Maybe you took the time to hear about their challenges and concerns or you provided access to some vital information, or made a critical introduction to a potential collaborator or stakeholder. We experience the power of investment through the dedicated practice of individual and collective evolution and growth. This month, engage in the powers of contribution, generosity, and investment be in the full practice of appreciation and its three divine supports, recognition and understanding, gratitude and acknowledgement, and dedication to evolution and growth. Appreciate <laughs> and experience the bounty. This is your girl, Ra. Have a marvelous day, and I'll see you next time.